Greetings, fellow traveler. I want to remind you that at some point in your life when you were younger, I'm talking about child, at some point you decided who you wanted to be. What I mean by that is, if you think about it, you were most likely the version of yourself that you've seen as a child. It's interesting to think about. It's interesting to reflect on. That's why inner child work does help. Because you get in touch with that idea of self that you formed as a child. It's not to say that it's, it has to be perfect. No, who cares? It's malleable. It can always change. But there are elements of who you are right now in your life, no matter what stage of life you're in, elements of that came from when you were a child. I bring that up because it's very telling of some of the choices that we make in our life, how they guide us to where we are, and how some of our beliefs and ideas of self are really rooted in that idea that we formed as a child. You can see it in any aspect, whether it be your uh, choice of employment, choice of relationships, uh, choice of friendships, choice of location. Many of these things can be accepted as a child, just like many other impressions that we receive. But it doesn't mean that we have to stay rooted in those ideas. Once we're aware of those things, then you can give yourself grace or forgiveness if it's needed. And you can move forward by saying, okay, I made that choice. I've seen or I've reaped the harvest of that choice, of that seed of uh, belief that was planted in me or that I planted. Now it's time to uproot that and move. Move on from that belief. Move on from that relationship. Move on from those friendships. Move on from that job situation. Move on from that location, that environment. It's okay. And then once you make that change, guess what? You do it all over again because you can only bloom from where you're planted. Embrace it. You bloomed and blossomed from where you planted those ideas and those seeds of belief when you were a child until where you are now. So you uproot and do it again. It's absolutely fine. But trust in yourself. Trust that no matter what decisions you make, it's perfect for you. It's not for anybody else. And no matter what, God has you. So move forward in that faith. Move forward in that ability of knowing that you are in charge of everything in your life. It doesn't take much. It doesn't take force. It's simply tapping into the power of God and letting it go. Just let the issue go. Let the seeming obstacle go. Trust me. Everything's going to work out just as it did before, just as it always does for you. Until next time, be blessed. And please don't forget to smile.